Hello, it's Clyde again at Vibrant Soap. Today I'm going to devote the first part of the video on inspiration. You know, where do you get inspiration to come up with these designs for new soaps? And for me, new soaps are new paintings. And like many of you, you probably get some kinds of clues for your inspiration from nature. Flowers, the sky, and of course many of the scents that we use in our soaps are derived from nature. So today I'm going to take you on just a little um, video journey on um, the things I see in the canyon behind our house. And also, um, we live very close to the San Diego Zoo, so it's great to walk around and get some inspiration out there. So um, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to um, need more blue and white than anything else. So let me get that portioned out. And then I'm going to just need accent colors of an orange. Blue, try to make a little turquoise. And a reddish purple. Okay, okay now I'm blend that up. Give it a stir. Get some bubbles out. So what I'm going to do is need a bigger bowl. And just combine both of these in there for my in the pot swirl. And give that just a little quick spin. that aside and blend up my other colors. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour most of half of this into the mold and pound that down. Then I'm going to insert these sort of like diagonals, like a V. And I'm just going to, since this is thickening up a little bit, give it a stir. Still liquid enough. And the orange. I want these uh, colors to be really vibrant and I want the white and the blue to be kind of subdued to showcase these colors. So I wanted a blue but I think this green is going to be fine. Okay, so I'm going to start with the most bright color it happens to be this reddish purple and just kind of jewel that on both sides of this V. a bit of it. And then take the orange. Actually I'm going to take the green. Green has uh, is made of yellow and blue as you know so none of those colors exist in the um, except for the blue I guess. And I'm going to just do that from a height but make sure that it gets on the partitions. Go for the orange. And then repeat the process. I'm not really using the spatula to get all the soap out because if I have a little bit left, I will use it on the top. 
Okay, now what I'll do is I'll do the little bit of a spoon swirl. And then try to slip these out. There we go. Slip this out as diagonally as I can. Same with this. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with the rest of my blue and white. from afar up. Tap this down. Wipe that down. I'll leave you with um, this white flower that I saw and this bird that I saw uh, in my favorite areas of the zoo. And I will be back for the cutting video of this um, soap that um, in large part was um, designed with um, these uh, visuals that I showed, shared with you today. So take care and I'll see you soon.